Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So, we have here the long-awaited Ascension versus Mission readings for the month of October. I am so sorry for not doing getting these out for September. I really wanted to do that for September, it just, but it just didn't work out. Um, Virgo, September was Virgo season, and that was a lot. It was pretty rough for a lot of us. There was just a lot of things going on energetically in September that kind of, you know, didn't let that happen. But that's okay, because here we are in October, and we've got it for you, yeah? So this is going to be focusing on where we are currently in our mission. Uh, I'm sorry, starting with um, our ascension, where we are in the ascension process. But then also um, where we are in our mission and how the two of them are relating to each other, mirroring each other. This is going to be a mirror reading, okay? Uh, very similar, well, the same setup as I do for the Twin Flame weekly readings. Um, just with a few variations. The main one being, instead of focusing on the balance between masculine and feminine energies for the Twin Flames, we are focusing on our where we are in our, mission, our ascension process versus where we are in our mission, our personal missions, um, whatever that means for you, whatever it is you are here to do for yourself, for your life, your personal mission here on Earth as the human, blah, 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 this, that, and the other thing. And how those two energies are mirroring each other, potentially. Yes? So, for the reading, I have two decks. I'm using, for the, uh, the Ascension process, I'm using the Thelema Tarot deck. Um, and for the, <clears throat> for the mission part of the situation, I am using the Golden Universal Tarot. Yeah? As always, I will be closing these readings with some oracle guidance. So with for this one, I will be closing the reading with oracle guidance from the Lightworker Oracle and also the Crystal Mandala, yes? And like I usually do, when I work with the Crystal Mandala deck, I always recommend that if the crystals that come out resonate with you in some way and you would like to purchase one in order to um, work with it, you know, to help integrate the messages, integrate the energies, if it resonates with you, whatever, if it, it doesn't even have to be related to the message that comes through with the crystal. If it resonates with you and you want to purchase that crystal, I recommend that you do so. Yes? Okay. Um, keep in mind that these, this is a general reading, all right? So I'm channeling for the whole Lightworker, Starseed, and uh, Twin Flame collective group, whatever. You don't have to resonate with one of those labels because they literally are just labels, guys. But you don't have to resonate with either any of those in order to, number one, watch this video, but also to number two, to be able to get some sort of good information. If you have been drawn to this video for some reason, whatever it may be, chances are there, is a, there are some nuggets of information in here for you that you can take and add or, or work into your life personally, yeah? But like I said earlier, this is, a this is a general reading for quite a large amount of people. So please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. I am absolutely more than 100% happy to do this reading for you as a personal reading that is available. Um, it would be the same as like the, it's a, it's a mirror reading basically. Just if you were to order, or if you wanted to order one, email me and let me know um, you want an Ascension versus Mission reading instead of like say a Twin Flame mirror reading or just like a regular mirror reading because the mirror readings don't necessarily just have to be for Twin Flames. Mirror readings can be for anything, okay? Okay, I think that's it. So without further ado, let's do it guys. All right, Divine Masculine Collective, let's get to it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the Divine Masculine Collective of Star Seeds, Twin Flames, and Lightworkers. Please give us an accurate representation of where the Divine Masculine Collective is in terms of their ascension process, represented by the deck on the left, versus their mission process, or their mission in life, 
represented by the deck on the right. And please show us how these energies are interacting with each other and also potentially mirroring each other for the Divine Masculine Collective. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Divine Masculine Collective, as always, I'm seeing um, orange and yellow for you, just like for the Divine Feminine, I was seeing purple and pink. Um, this is, these are, I guess these are the colors that I've come to associate with these collectives. Um, we're shuffling your Ascension deck here, Divine Masculine Collective, and to me, what's going on uh, with these colors for you in terms of ascension, your ascension process, there's a lot, there's just a lot that's being illuminated for you right now. Um, spirit is working very hard to help you see the truth behind a lot of the illusions, okay? Or not a lot, all of the illusions. Um, to get you to see things as they truly are. To get you to see past the veil is what I'm hearing. Um, there's also an energy to, to, to help you look past three-dimensional reality and see more of the spiritual reality. And a lot of that could be happening, excuse me, a lot of that could be happening in terms of um, circumstances in your physical world. I'm seeing a lot of gold energy here. So this is the energy of the divine just coming through. It's, it's like energy of divine intervention here, okay? When it comes to your ascension. All right, last shuffle. Cool. All right, divine masculine collective. Here is your ascension process. But now, let's shuffle for your mission process. Mission, mission, mission. I'm hearing, ooh, boy. Flyers already, huh? All right, so Divine Masculine, we've got some flyers. We've got the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, which is in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune, which is also in reverse. Um, when it comes to mission, there are some cycles that are really coming to an end here, um, and you're finding yourself able to break out of a mental prison that you may have found yourself in, in the recent past, um, in the current, in your current time frame, and now that's allowing you to move forward quite quickly. Um, you may be, this may talk about communication. Um, you may be wanting to talk about your process. Talk about what you've been going through in your life. Um, talk about what it is or communicate with people about what you truly want to be doing here in the world. Um, but there are a lot of karmic cycles that are coming to an end here for the Divine Masculine Collective and that's really excellent. It's really, really excellent. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> okay, cool. Great, great, great. So let me just give this a few more shuffles for the Divine Masculine Collective in terms of mission. Divine Masculine in terms of mission. One more shuffle. Okay, guys, Divine Masculine Collective, your mission energies are set. We are going to start with your ascension, yeah? Overall energy, we've got the Eight of Cups. Okay, so part of your ascension process right now is walking away, walking away, walking away from things that no longer serve you. Um, the moon is, is really catching my attention here. So this could be you working with your intuition to understand what it is that you need to be walking away from. Some of you are not necessarily doing this just yet. Um, some of you are really making sure that you know 
for a fact or at least as much as you can that what you need to be walking away from is in fact happening or the right thing to be walking away from you've got the knight of swords and you've got the seven of wands and you've got the ten of cups this is all for your ascension process here um, and first of all first off you're already mirroring the divine feminine Okay, the Divine Feminine got the Seven of Wands in the challenge at the challenge part of the uh, Ascension and got the Ten of Cups in the overall energy for mission here. So this is actually, um, it's interesting because this is already starting, this is reminding me of the Twin Flame Weekly Conversation um, in which it's titled the divine masculine is hard at work and the divine feminine is focused on family um, whereas the divine feminine in the physical has the uh, I'm sorry in the in the mission but right in the mission aspect or the physical aspect of her reality she's got the ten of cups in which she is working on uh, being of service in this way helping facilitate this for other people um, working on this in a very physical way. For the Divine Masculine, you have the Ten of Cups, but you're focused, you're, you're working on this on an energetic level, okay? You are clearing the space for the Ten of Cups to be um, a more prominent reality in your life. Um, you're, you're walking away from things that no longer serve you from things that are keeping you from feeling this ultimate fulfillment here with the Ten of Cups. In terms of ascension right now, part of your ascension process is clearing the space so that you can live a more fulfilling life, all right? Um, and you're very defensive about it with the Seven of Wands here. And with the Knight of Swords, you're feeling an energy of wanting to move very, very quickly. Now, the thing about the Knight of Swords is the Knight of Swords often... Um, is not the most tactful, can sometimes um, uh, make rash decisions, make decisions before they really think things through. But in this case, I'm getting more of an energy of just a strong, determined energy to move forward. And coupled with the Seven of Wands, this is really being of the mindset of defensive, on the defensive, but also on the offensive if necessary, okay? And I'm not, and, and sometimes that can be kind of bad, but I'm not getting that that's pretty, I'm not getting that that's a bad thing, actually. In this situation, I'm getting, it in terms of spiritual warfare, this is good, especially when it's coupled with the Ten of Cups, okay? Because ultimately, the Ten of Cups is the driving force behind all of this. Excellent. So, let's get into the current energies for the Divine Masculine Collective when it comes to Ascension. First set of current energies we're starting you off with, aha, the Eight of Swords. So, more mirroring for the from the Divine Feminine. Um, and actually, it's in the same position. Eight of Swords here is talking about you feeling like you're trapped or in a mental prison. And I'm getting an energy of not necessarily knowing which way to go or what action to take, even though you've got this action, these action-oriented cards here with the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Cups, you're still kind of stuck in your head about it. Is this the right thing to do? Is this the right direction to move in? Is this the direction that I really want to move in at even? Especially if you find yourself in a position where you made a choice to go in a certain direction and now you're coming to find out it wasn't the right direction for you or it's not as fulfilling as you want. There may be some apprehension or some fear even around moving in a new direction for fear that that may also turn out to be not the right direction. But that is okay. I want you to temper that fear with the knowledge that even if it turns out to be, quote, not the right way, it was still the right way to go because it helped it, it through, through contrast, it helped you see what it is, see more of what it is you don't want and go get you on a path towards what it is that you actually do want, okay? Eight of Swords is coupled with, 
aha, the page of swords. And this is exactly what I was saying. Is this the right thing to do? What should I do? Where should I go? How do I go about it? The page of swords is very inquisitive. Okay. But with this energy here, this is, I'm feeling this is kind of an anxious energy here. Part of your ascension process is learning to trust yourself and trust your intuition, trust your higher self, trust your heart even. Okay. So the page of swords energy is good in this sense, but what you want to do is release yourself from this eight of swords energy because you don't have to feel trapped. Okay. All right. There's a lot of swords energy going on so far for the Divine Masculine Collective. We've got the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Um, so the, very, the Divine Masculine is doing very much what he does best and being as logical as he possibly can. This is good. Second set of current energies for the Divine Masculine. When it comes to Ascension, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. Learning of understanding, um, uh, uh, understanding how you have, what you are reaping within this harvest. This is also another energy of taking time to understand what it is you need to do to move forward in a better direction, okay? This is also a time of harvest for you, ascension-wise, energetically. Um, if you've been putting in a lot of good work, a lot of hard work, then you're reaping something, you're reaping something really good. You're reaping the benefits of it. If you haven't been putting in that hard work, which is pretty indicative of the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Page of Swords, that energy to me is saying that to some of you, you're starting to learn about the things that you've been investing in that are not giving you the, in, the return that you really want. But this is all a good thing because ultimately you're understanding this process and you're learning to do better in the future, okay? Seven of Pentacles is coupled with the Page of Pentacles. All right. So this is very much an energy of starting over. Um, this is, this is uh, learning about the previous harvest in order to plant a new harvest. This is about sending a message also um, I'm really just getting an energy of leveling up here in a physical, in the physical sense. And absolutely, it makes perfect sense that you would be in this Eight of Swords with the Page of Swords energy, especially with the Seven of Pentacles. If you're leveling up, you're trying to understand things on a deeper level. You're kind of apprehensive about it. You're kind of nervous about it because this is pretty new to you, especially since you're, you're moving into a new level of understanding. You know, it's... It's make, it's all making sense to me. I hope it's making sense to you guys. But um, in terms of the Page of Pentacles here, this is really you just starting over anew on a new a new frame of mind, um, a new uh, material goal in mind, maybe even a new way of approaching what it is you want materially, okay? Your current challenge when it comes to Ascension, the Six of Cups, dealing with childhood issues, dealing with the past, healing from the past, uh, maybe even healing some situations with a soulmate, twin flame, that kind of thing. All of that would absolutely be a part of your ascension process because even if you don't end up, like say this is a soulmate and you don't end up with them, even if it's not a soulmate, if it's a twin flame and you don't end up with them right now, working on that reconciliation or working on that healing will absolutely help you ascend, okay? Six of Cups is coupled with <laughs> the Knight of Cups. To me, this is energy of an apology. If it's not an apology per se, then it's a, a reconciliatory energy of some sort. This is a, this is an extending. I'm I'm seeing I'm feeling an energy. I'm picking up an energy of like extending an olive branch in some way. Um, reconnecting emotionally is what I just heard. This, all of that would be a part of the ascension process because it will help heal. It will help clear away past hurts, past fears. It will help you clear away things that have been holding you back. Okay. Um, what to expect or uh, a potential outcome or what's coming down the pipeline for you, Divine Masculine Collective, in terms of ascension, we have <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles. This is great. I'm feeling an energy of clearing up space, claiming your independence, maybe even claiming your sovereignty. If you, uh, in surmounting this challenge of the Six of Cups with the Nine of Cups in healing, we'll definitely say from past, 
past life wound, past life trauma, uh, uh, childhood traumas, in the energies of walking away from things that no longer serve you in, um, in light or in service of things that would be of much better service to you, in energies of putting forth some really strong and healthy boundaries, yes, claiming your independence with the Nine of Pentacles here. This is excellent. This is also more mirroring from the Divine Feminine in that the Divine Feminine got the Nine of Pentacles in her outcome when it comes to mission. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles is coupled with the Nine of Cups. I'm seeing some pretty big wish fulfillment here. I'm also seeing, especially with the two nines that are here right now, I'm seeing energies of you moving into a, a space of near completion or just completion in general with the nine. Okay, because from the nine, you go to the 10. Well, okay, in the tarot, from the nine, you go to the 10, and that's completion. But in numerology, you, from, from the nine, you go back to one. Do you go back to zero? Zero, I don't know. No, you go to one. So from nine, you go to 10 in numerology, that's the next cycle. Okay, and that's the energy I'm getting here for you. In surmounting these challenges, in claiming your sovereignty, in claiming your independence, in healing past wounds and all of that good stuff, you absolutely clear away more space to allow your wish fulfillment to come into play. Oh, and by the way, guys, look at what's on the bottom of the deck. The Ten of Cups. So, hello, being in that space, to uh, in, in that Nine of Cups space to allow the Ten of Cups to manifest. That is fantastic, Divine Masculine. That is absolutely beautiful. Yes? All right. Let's get into your mission side of the equation here. Overall energies, we're starting you off with the big old magician, y'all. So you're really manifesting, okay? You're making some moves. And it's fantastic, Divine Masculine. I really, really like that for you. The magician, we have hello, the lovers, we've got the king of pentacles, and then underneath all of that, you've got the two of wands. All right. So, yes, divine masculine, there are some, there is, there are some choices that need to be made here, ultimately. But what you're dealing with when it comes to mission, especially in terms of ascension, because these two energies are absolutely connected, Okay. Where you are in your ascension process will absolutely influence where you are in your mission process, okay? And so, and I'm seeing, actually, I'm seeing this right now as where you are in your mission is having more of an influence in your ascension process here. Whereas for the Divine Feminine, where she is in her ascension process is, has, is affecting her mission, okay? That makes perfect sense to me as, you know, masculine and feminine are like the polar opposites here. Anyway... Um, so Divine Masculine, you are really manifesting balance. I'm really seeing you manifesting balance between the masculine and feminine energy, energies within you here with the levers, okay? I'm also getting an energy of calling, I'm, and I'm hearing, um, that card, I'm hearing the title of that card from, um, Doreen Virtue's, uh, what is it? Romance Angels deck, calling in your soulmate. That's literally what I'm hearing here, okay? Especially with the King of Pentacles here. So this is the Divine Masculine in the physical sense. Um, and you're really manifesting, I really... I'm gonna, damn, I'm gonna go ahead and say that what I'm getting for the Divine Masculine Collective here is there's, there's energies of being family-oriented, okay? Um... There are absolutely energies of being family oriented. And I really feel like the divine masculine is doing a lot of work in order to bring this in. Because also with your ascension process, you have the Ten of Cups. And that's absolutely about um, family and ultimate emotional fulfillment. And so in terms of the two of wands here, there's actively a decision that needs to be made in terms of how to go about that, okay? All right. First set of current energies for the Divine Masculine Collective when it comes to mission. We got 
<laughs> the world. Great. So completion, more mirroring from the Divine Feminine because the Divine Feminine had the world at the bottom of her mission deck underneath everything. Okay. The world is coupled with, oh, look, the Queen of Cups. More mirroring, guys, because <laughs> the Divine Feminine had the Queen of Cups in the first set of her current energies for, um, for Ascension. Wow. So, in terms of mission, I'm, I'm getting an energy of situations coming to a close that are keeping you from a Queen of Cups energy, that are keeping you from a Divine Feminine counterpart, in a sense. Um, someone that is loving and nurturing and is also family-oriented. Um, there are also energies of completion of cycles with a mother figure, maybe a smother figure, something like that. Um, there are also energies of com completion when it comes to barriers between you, the masculine and feminine within, okay? And like I was saying here with the lovers, I feel like there are a lot of divine masculines out there that are actively working on manifesting this union within of masculine and feminine energies, okay? That's really great. That's really great. Second set of current energies we have, woo, the devil, more mirroring. The devil came out for the Divine Feminine in her ascension. It was the very first card that came out, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. The devil is coupled with... There is some mirroring for you, Divine Masculine, the Page of Swords. Now, it's so funny. I'm getting, I'm getting energies of maybe spying on... And these really aren't supposed to be love readings, but here... What's happening for the Divine Masculine Collective is love is really being integrated into your reality, okay? So that makes sense why a, a, a focus on love is here in, the, in this Ascension versus Mission reading for the Divine Masculine Collective. But um, some of you are watching from afar out of fear, um, out of regret, out of remorse is what I'm hearing. But also some of you are really starting to learn about the devil energy that surrounds you. The codependency that you find yourself in, the codependency that you've been trying to potentially let go of for quite some time, okay? This devil energy is also the energy that keeps you from whoever this Queen of Cups is to you. It's also the energy that keeps you from connecting with your inner feminine energies. And so you're learning about that. I really see you being a spy um, ducking and weaving, ducking and weaving through the energies that this devil is putting through out of the devil's radar for the most part in order to learn about it. That's pretty, that's pretty slick, divine masculine. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty, pretty damn awesome. Okay. Your current challenge when it comes to mission, divine masculine, is justice. Bringing justice into your life is what I'm hearing. But this is on a conscious level. This is not just about letting the universe do the work for you. No. And this is why it's in your challenge. The challenge is bringing conscious justice to your life. And, and, and for the most part, what I'm getting is that's going to come through you being an authentic expression of yourself, which has been a challenge for the divine masculine, just the masculine collective in general, because the masculine collective is taught to be something that they're not. It's taught to be aggressive and unemotional and uh, all this toxic, toxic toxicity. And so the challenge here in mission is to bring some conscious justice into your life. Justice is coupled with the star. And what is that going to bring? Healing. The challenge here is also to have hope and faith that justice, justice will be served and you will reap the benefit of it. Now, for some of you, that justice that's going to be served, it's probably not going to, it might not be so pretty. Um, it might feel like a punishment. It might be painful, whatnot, whatever. But ultimately, it's facilitating healing, okay? And once you push through that energy, you will be in a better place. No, it's already. You'll be in a better place 
to serve your mission. Okay? Sweet. So your potential outcome, what could be coming down the pipeline for you, what you could be looking for, what you can be looking forward to in the upcoming future, the near future, for mission, the divine masculine, we have four of pentacles. Okay. Four of pentacles is coupled with ah, the hierophant. Well, that's a little bit of a mixed message here. I see a lot of the Divine Masculine Collective still holding on to tradition for fear of lack of stability. This is, I really don't see much of the Divine Masculine Collective stepping out of the status quo. I'm just going to put it out there, at least mission-wise. But you see, that's because, mainly that's because, there is still an energy of needing to walk away from something, needing to put barriers or um, healthier boundaries in place. And I, I just want to say that this doesn't sound, I mean, I mean this doesn't look too bad. I know, it's, I know it doesn't sound so great, but the way I'm seeing it right now, it's not so bad mainly because there's still quite a few things that the Divine Masculine Collective needs to work through and clear away. Okay? So mission-wise, I feel like Divine Masculine, at least for this month, um, you're, the, the Divine Masculine is going to be doing things the way they have been normally in the past, but there is energy of that changing. Okay? It has to happen internally first, though. It's not going to happen um, externally. It has to, out, so out, from within, so without, as above, so below, that kind of thing. Okay. So once these energies in the ascension process are cleared away and are more balanced and are ready to go, then all of this can happen in the physical. But I don't want you divine masculine or divine feminines out there that are watching this, I don't want you to think that nothing is happening on the physical because yes, it is, <laughs> is what Spirit just said to be very loud and clear, okay? It's happening on a physical level. It's just that more needs to be anchored ascension-wise or in the spiritual level before more of it can be anchored in the physical, okay? Okay, so let's get into some crystal mandala guidance here. Collective. One. Let's take one more. Woo! There we go. All right. So we've got card number 15. Grace for the Grand Gesture. That's Archangel Raphael and Malachite. And we also have uh, card number 40. Goddess Sarawati and Ammonite. From world to world. So I'm getting some really tra this traveling. Grace for the grand gesture. And then world from world to world, that's traveling energy to me. Okay, card number 15. Just a second here. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Card number 15, grace for the grand gesture. We bring you the gift of grace for the grand gesture. Although there are times when the smallest act, such as choosing to think a positive thought, is enough to transform your world, there also comes a time for the leap of faith, the grand gesture of unconditional trust that will free you from the past and empower the universe to gift you with a new future. Hey, eight of cups here. Walking away from something that no longer serves you. The grand gesture is the big step. The willingness to say to the universe, I trust you, I know it is time for life as I have known it to give way for a bigger, bolder experience. 
and I am willing to allow you to lead me into it. You then make an offering which confirms your declaration and empowers the universe to reward the faith you have demonstrated. The grand gesture cannot be forced. If it comes from a place of should or uncertainty, then you are not ready. The grand gesture must be unconditional. It must be something you offer, not for what you can get in return, although the rewards will be rich, but because you are willing to offer something of yourself in service of love. When it comes from this place, the grand gesture is a trigger for divine grace to express itself in your life in an entirely new way, surpassing all expectations and showering you with blessings. Excellent. Very, very nice. That's already very much in line with what we were talking about here, so that's great. Then we go to card number 40, from world to world. Goddess Saravati and Ammonite, from world to world. We bring you the empowerment of world to world. What you speak of with intention, you shall manifest. You are blessed with the creative power of an open and activated throat chakra. As you release subconscious fear of speaking your truth, memories of being silenced, and claim your true divine voice, your ability to change your world through your intention is amplified. You have the power of divine creation through sound in you. What you wish to create and experience, speak of with joy. That's fantastic, Divine Master. Divine Master, I love it. Okay, let's close out the reading with the Lightworker Oracle here. For the Divine Masculine Collective, for this Ascension versus Mission reading for October 2018. Okay, here we go. Best message, please, spirit. Here we go. Card number 29, which does boil down to an 11. The Pink Rose of Lady Nada. Okay, here we go. Pink Rose of Lady Nada, card number 29. You are in the midst of a heart healing. A healing of the fears and anxieties that have held you back from everything you are full from enjoying, excuse me, that have held you back from enjoying your full magnificence. Lady Nada is here with her gentle power, washing you in soft pink light. All anger, fear, sadness, bitterness, disappointments, and hurt are soothed and loved into place. She brings you a sign of your future blossoming into deeper love. Now look at that. And there was so much love that was in the focus here for the Divine Masculine Collective, okay? That's really, it's really quite beautiful. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, I want to read this part. If there is anything or anyone you need to forgive, this gift from Lady Nada will empower you to do so. Your ability to forgive won't make you a doormat for others. It will free you to leave the past behind. So let other people's choices about their learning rather than your value. Oh, I'm sorry. So let other people's choices be about their learning rather than your value and choose to love yourself now. If you are at a troublesome point in your life, remember that despite the thorns, the rose has an exquisite perfume. It is a beautiful and wise soul that chooses a path that has truly challenging moments. But out of those challenges, great empowerment can be developed. Do not despair if you seem far from the light. You are simply traveling through darkness for a time. Your inner light is strong enough to see by, even in darkest times. Still, that time will end soon and you shall re realize exactly how much you have grown through the experience. You will find that your way to you will find your way into peace and happiness. Trust in your own light within and be loving. Oh, I'm sorry. And the loving kindness of Lady Nada's blessing now. Let me try that again. <laughs> Trust in your own light within and the loving kindness of Lady Nada's blessing now. It is enough to lift you into the light of love and peace. 
Okay. So there it is, Divine Masculine Collective. Yeah, that's an awesome reading. It's a really good reading. I really don't want anyone to be discouraged about the fact that, you know, we've got the Hierophant and the Four of Pentacles here for your mission um, in the near future. This is not a bad thing. This actually, the universe is saying this is actually a really good thing. Um, it's necessary to preserve the status quo at least until you have yourself prepared and ready to go in order to make some changes, okay? But with the Hierophant also, <clears throat> um, the Hierophant is not just about preserving the status quo. It's also about learning, understanding on a deeper level, okay? And the Divine Feminine, more Miriam, I forgot about that, but the Divine Feminine Collective did get the Hierophant in her mission aspect, okay? Not her mission, <clears throat> I'm sorry, her ascension aspect. Okay, so there it is, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this resonated for you. I hope it was helpful for you. And again, if you would like one of these readings as a personal reading, please don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the description box below. Yeah, much love to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.